was brought over by William Heat Davis. He was one of the fine heirs of San Diego. San Diego City was located at Old Town then. So this is all vacant land here. They had the bay and so forth. And nothing really happened out here except rapids and so forth. And William Heat Heat Davis, the war with Mexico ended in 1888, 84. And so he came in here in 1850. So this was all virgin land. And so he thought there were great opportunity. He visited the San Diego and Old Town. He said, gee, for a city to grow, you need to be near the water, especially with fine harbor like San Diego. So he came here and invested his money. So he brought this house in pieces, brought along from, from Boston area. Then they came to the strait where Panama Canal is today. The canal wasn't there then. They had to put these in horse and buggies and stuff. And they took it 50 miles across the strait. And then they had ships there pick it up and to bring it to this way. So that's how they trapped. They, uh, they uh, brought the cargo over from the east to the west. And if they didn't, they had to go around the Horn, down Argentina and so forth. That's 8,000 miles. So that 50 mile was, was really a, a great saver for, for the cost. So he brought this by pizza and he built this house. It was located about uh, 10th or 11th and uh, Island Street along there. And then when uh, redevelopment started coming in, it was brought in here, uh, given the gas lamp association here. So this is a real historic building, one of the oldest build. It is the oldest building in New San Diego right here. And so, uh, along, uh, so I, with his great dream, he built a pier at the foot of Broadway there. And then he enticed the government to open army barracks here because the border was down the south of the border here. And so anyway, he went broke. He, he created a small subdivision where Little Italy is, but the, he couldn't entice the people to move here. Then a few years later, about 15 years later, uh, along comes this Alonzo Horton. Alonzo Horton was a furniture uh, dealer in San Francisco. He heard about San Diego and also for health reason too, he heard the weather was great. He came down here, visited, he fell in love with it. And so he contacted the, the people in, in Old Town, he, he bought up a lot of land here. And so it's called Alonzo Horton, uh, Horton Plaza, Horton's Addition and so forth. So all this property you see here, up to the edge of Elbow Park, along most of the harbor here, is uh, uh, Horton's uh, Addition. So what he did, he made the blocks, if you notice, the blocks are kind of small. They're 300 feet one way, and 200 feet the other way. So those are smaller blocks. The reason why he did that, because you had more corners he can develop. So, so smaller blocks, you had four corners. And the four corners brought the best prices. And what he did, he went to all the churches and so forth, the congregational church, the Presbyterian church, the Methodists and so forth. And they had little places in old San Diego. He said, I'm giving you a free piece of property if you will build a church there. So they took these property and built churches. And the people followed. That's that's the first, let's say, uh, great growth of San Diego that made the big difference. And so Alonzo Horton, he, he contributed a lot to San Diego. And then as, as we are about to go on to, uh, let's say, let's say a, a tour here. I'd like to point out just across the street there. That used to be the Chinatown. And uh, in, in about in the late 70s, late 70s, uh, Gas Lamb Quarter has become what you call Skid Row. And there were two parts of Gas Lamb. The lower part where a lot of the industry is and uh, uh, factories and so forth. And a little upper, upper of Market Street are the commercial area. They had department stores and so forth. Those of you who have been in San Diego for a long time will remember the Marston family. They had the Marston department store. Then the George Walker, the, the Walker the, the department store. But those were up there in Broadway you know, and, uh, and so forth. So anyway, there were two parts. And uh, since the, when the war came, things changed altogether. 
We had uh, the red light district, what they call the stingery. The stingery is where a wide herb used to uh, have a bar there, and, uh, and that, that was just around the corner. And so uh, they had many of the uh, go, let's say, uh, well, ladies walking at night. And there was one famous one called Ida Bailey, and uh, he's very famous. She was so famous that when they rebuilt this uh, uh, Horton House uh, Hotel here, they moved it from uptown on Fifth on F Street to here. They even kept a place for Ida Bailey's um, the, uh, house right there. But it's not a house, but it, it's, it's a place where people eat and so forth. But anyways, uh, uh, Ida Bailey was became sort of a, a let's say an icon during that period. So, anyways, a group came to see me after I left the city council in the early 1970s. And he said, Tom, uh, you've been in government for a number of years. Uh, what could we do? Uh, we have uh, all these go-go places. We have uh, ladies working in the night. And the gentlemen shouldn't be down here unless they're in hanky-panky business. Uh, how, how can we turn this around? And I, I, I thought of the fact when I was on the city council, the same group came to see us about Old Town. Old Town has become deteriorated with adobe houses and so forth, and that became very old. So uh, we created what you call a historic district. And I said, why couldn't we develop this as a historic district? We can give it the uh, gay 90 period called Gas Lamp. And so how Gas Lamp was developed. And so anyway, uh, we my wife and I, late wife and I, we traveled the country visiting some of the old area, like Pioneer Square in Seattle and Vancouver and so forth, and some of the other, Boston, Fennel, uh, Fennel Hall and so forth, the things they have done with the old area. So we started doing that and got the people participating. We started with only six blocks, and before you know, the enthusiasm grew. It came to a point that it became 14 and a half blocks. And so now people who are not even in gas lamp refer to the fact their business and operation is in gas lamp. So anyway, to some degree, we can say that gas lamp, the tail that wagged the dog to some degree. And then it also gave some confidence for Ernie Hahn to develop the shopping center, where they took 15 square blocks to develop the shopping center. But, but they weren't totally convinced that gas lamp would be the great attraction because they built the shopping center like in a fortress. But they built a beautiful shopping center, very successful, but it was fortress. And there were only a couple entry that you get in. But once you got in, it was a great place. But anyway, since Gas Lamp has been very successful, and one of the most successful of any of the developments of historical sites in the country, uh, they have been opening up some of the other areas. And so, anyways, uh, we like to think that gas lamps so sort of the thing, the tail that wagged the dog to some large degree. And, and anyways, the, um, the area that we would like to do is uh, get some of these areas where you can point out the buildings. And uh, Chinatown was a self-contained place, and uh, maybe the most uh, a memorable time in Chinatown was during Fourth of July, because that's the only area that sold fireworks. Everybody in town came to buy fireworks, so that was a big time, Fourth of July, and it was the Chinese that sold the fireworks. And I remember that we were kids. That was just a kind of a, a great holiday period. So, in, anyways, um, Catalina, what was our first stop here? Okay, I'd like to maybe go to Six and Island, uh, show you where uh, uh, the wholesale produce used to be. Uh, my, my, my dad started as, as a young man as a food peddler. As he became a food peddler, he advanced, he opened his wholesale house. As he opened a wholesale house, uh, it grew to perhaps one of the largest in Southern California. When the kids took over with, 12 bo with nine boys, he had a lot of help. So anyways, let's, let's uh, depart 